Morning, everyone. It's John again. I'm going to play Immaculate Grid. Getting real excited for baseball season, month away. I'm looking forward to it. I'm, I'm looking forward to actually being able to, to commentate on things uh, as they're as they're uh, happening, as games are happening um, while doing this grid. Got a TV there, so maybe I'll like leverage that. I don't know. We'll we'll see. We'll see what I uh, how I incorporate that in. Um, obviously, I don't have like a trademark license or anything, so it's not like I can commentate on a game while watching a game while you guys watch the game all at the same time on the same screen. But that's all right. Uh, let's get into it. Uh, this is the thing I can do because last I checked, it's all public uh, public stuff. I'm going to play Immaculate Grid. That was my score from yesterday on the time draft. This was a fun one. It took me like six minutes to get this because um, I, I found that I was using people elsewhere and yeah, it was very interesting. Anyway, let's hit refresh and go and away we go. All right. So that's going to be Rod Beck, among others. Carlos Pena hits this group. So it's Fred McGriff. Um, John Lieber. Let's see. Tim Raines played a little left field for the, the Yankees. He went sub 1%. Carl Crawford will not go sub 1%, and nor will Barry Bonds. Come on, John. There we go. All right, sub three ERA for a season. Marischal seems like a safe bet there. Snell definitely did it for the Rays. And then uh, Gidry, among many others, for the Yankees. Now we've gotten 50 seconds. 110 rarity score, 50 seconds. That's a, that's a solid game. I think I used some of the, the bigger ones here i don't know if i'm going to come up with like a really low three era or left fielder for the rays we'll see how that goes Got some names i guess a little bit of recency bias there that's to be expected all right uh dave martinez is a name i think i'm going to use but we'll see on on where because he definitely works with the cubs and rays i think he played a little left field he also played right field like he mainly played right field. So I got 17 on the rarity yesterday in this interesting one. All right. Sub three ERA. How obscure can we go on that one? Left field. I'm just trying to think of old people who will work. Uh, let's see. Our guy Germany Schaefer works here. Played one game with the Yankees. Get Fred Merkel in there. He goes point three. I guess he's famous for a game while he was playing for the Giants against the Cubs, but he does hit both teams as well as the Dodgers and Yankees. Um, yeah, Dave Martinez works here, and I think that's better than trying to Cram him into left field. Um, I think Greg Vaughn will work as well. Over here, sub three ERA. How do I feel about Mike Stanton? Get the right one. He goes sub one for the Yankees. Maybe I could have thrown a Spud Chandler on there and gotten a little bit better. Uh, Sam also played for the Giants, but I don't know if he has sub three ERA. Um, Carl Hubble, if we want to go way back, would work. Um, I don't know about Sal Magley. Um, Jason Schmidt will work. Rodback would certainly work here too. Um, the other that other Cy Young winner, McClintock. That's a maybe for me. And then for the Rays, though, I mean, I know Fernando Rodney had that crazy season where he had like a point six ERA or something like that. Um. 
Raphael Soriano will work. He also would have worked here. Um, Snell and Price and Shields will all work. I don't believe Casimir Garza will work. Um, get like a Grant Balfour in there, maybe. Yeah, let's try Balfour. I, I have a pretty good feeling about him. Okay, he gets two. I know there's way lower ones. I mean, you, you can, it stops three RA for any amount of time. So if you can, maybe that's the next little research project I do. I just, I haven't had time to really grow since the last one I did was on baby leave and it was like getting the three for ones, the guys who'd, well, basically if they'd hit, uh, if they played like a season and went three for 10 or something, they worked for 300 in a season, 300 in a career three and only one team. And so that's the last, and it's been, since baby leaf I really had time to like look at those guys um all right sub three era for a season um Baumgartner, kane and linscombe will all work jason schmidt will work i mentioned rod back um i'm not sure how like a roberto hernandez would work someone who splits time but i think he was sub three for the time he was in san francisco along with going one for two um if we man, slide into the uh, 80s a little bit, maybe you get a Rick Ruchel. Pretty sure he works. Um, who else? Who else? And maybe I just go with Carl Hubble. I'm not thinking of that many relievers who will work that's that's really where where you can get some low ones so hubble takes one percent no need to get greedy i am going to go dave martinez here he takes one percent um and then for outfielders specifically left fielders ah uh, let's see We think of getting like a Roy White in there, Chad Curtis. I don't know, maybe Chili Davis or David Justice. Matsui, of course, works. Matsui pretty much leads right into Gardner. Joey Gallo will certainly get some points there. Maybe a Roberto Kelly. Um, I think he was more of a center fielder, but then Bernie Williams was coming around at the same time. Um, Yogi Berra will work. That's probably too famous, even if that's not what he's used for. Maybe a Bob Musil or Earl Combs. One of them, I mean, they were sharing the outfield with Babe Ruth, and I think I'm not sure how consistently Ruth moved around between left and right. And I'm not sure if those guys how those guys fit in exactly. Charlie Keller. That's an interesting one. I'm going to go with him. All right, point two. Uh, let's see, Giants. Other than Kevin Mitchell and Barry Bonds and Cepeda and Stargell, because they couldn't both have been playing for a space. Like one or the other was probably playing a little bit of left field at the same time. Um, Monty Irvin, I think, was playing left field in the 51 to 54 time frame. Um, who did John McGraw play? Because he played for the Giants. It seems to me he was an outfielder, but I, I don't, I'm not 100% on that. Now, what about left field? Who was the original left fielder for the Devil Rays? It wasn't Vaughn. Vaughn was still with San. Vaughn was with San Diego in '98. That was the first year with the Rays, and that's the year Vaughn hit 50 home runs. So it's not him, but it's not someone who had a lot of staying power either, because he was gone within a couple of years, and Vaughn was playing there. I think Ben Grieve played right field, and he his rookie year was with Oakland. That 
same year, 98. Um, 1998, man, it was a great year. Baseball and civilization peaked. Um, let's see what else. What what else could we go with? Uh, because I want with Crawford or Randy Wynn. Randy Wynn played more right. Um, Huff might work. Canseco isn't there yet, and he's more of a DH. Canseco comes the next year. Quentin McCracken mainly played center. So I don't think he'll work either, but it wouldn't surprise me if he slid over a little bit. Um, I'm trying to blank here. Like, I, I don't remember who the catcher was. First base in DH, he had Serrano and McGriff at first. He had like Miguel Cairo in there somewhere. Kevin Stocker was the shortstop. Wade Boggs was the third baseman. McCracken, I think, was more of a center fielder. And Dave Martinez was there, I think, from the beginning. I just don't know if he played right or left. Um, Gerald Williams comes around a couple years later, but he's mainly a center fielder, and Greg Vaughn is mainly a left fielder. Maybe I go with Vaughn. I don't know. Because I think Vaughn will do better than Randy Wynn or Carl Crawford or Huff if he wor even works or Kiermaier, uh, who definitely works. What if Nelson Cruz spent any time in left field? It seems to me I would just DH him all the time by that the stage in his career when he played for Tampa. All right, this feels like a safe and chicken way of going about it but greg vaughn wearing that awesome brewer baseball cap you know what i'm gonna throw one up i'm gonna see what, where john mcgraw played maybe it was the outfield well he played at least a game there 0.06 great great guess was he mainly an outfielder no he was mainly a third baseman so i got a little lucky i wonder if these orioles work for anyone That becomes, uh, I don't know. yeah, uh, man, looks like I got there. <laughs> 1903, he played 12 games and maybe one of them was in left field. Does it even go that granular in the fielding stats? 1905, one game, played three games in his career. Yeah, I guess two, there were two years. All right. Got lucky on that one. Got lucky, but I'll take it. All right. Well, thanks a lot for playing. Um, you know, sometimes you just want to throw up a guess, be Joey Gallo and see what happens. So um, appreciate everyone's time watching these and uh, let's get real excited for baseball. See, I came really far forward for that because I was, I was anticipating losing on John McGraw. Um, have a great rest of your Sunday, everyone. I'll be back at tomorrow. Peace.